I'm willing to go under the knife. I'm willing to get snipped. But that doesn't make any sense though because you just said that in the possible future, five to seven years, you may want another kid. So what you're saying is you want to go under the knife and get the snip snip and then you want to come to me five years later and be like, oh yeah, I actually do want a kid. Like, no, how is that going to work? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? <laughs> Today we're going to talk about something that's pretty, I don't know, pressing on our minds. Something we've been thinking a lot about, especially her. No, it's not just me, it's you too, <laughs> so. Yeah. You be bugging, but. Anyways, as you guys yeah. know, we have two like beautiful kids. And I feel like at our age, I'm 26, she just turned 26. I feel like at our age, like, two is good. I'm trying to like build like a foundation for them and try to build our family's future. But Miss is here, Mrs. <laughs> Keisha. What's so funny? Because you're like, oh, like I'm trying to like build a foundation and this and that, but like well, it okay, doesn't have on. anything to do with. They don't even know what we're talking about yet. We're talking about having more kids. <gasps> so, Keisha wants more kids, or at least a one more kid. Anyways, I'm not the only one because if I recall in the past You said there's a possibility for the future. So that's all I'm holding on to that's Okay, all. so I said there's a possibility in the future as in like five six seven years from now Okay, I just feel like we need to be preventative Because I don't want <laughs> another one right now, so we need options Okay, so what are your options? My options? See, she doesn't want to have birth control because she, I can't, I can't front, like she is sensitive to birth control. When she has it, it has like a real effect on her body. Messes but me for, up. But for men, so if you, if your, if your birth control is out of the picture, out of the question, that leaves two options for me. Mm -hmm. We have condoms, which... No! No. No. What's the next option? Uh, second option is a vasectomy. No, Basically, getting neutered. So she's saying both of my options are not happening. There's a third I, option. Listen, hold on, hold on. No, why are you yeah, yelling? Because I, I didn't get a chance to finish. This has to be clear. This is kind of like, to some people, it may be kind of gross, but this is this is the real life. I'm willing to go under the knife. I'm willing to get snipped. But that doesn't make any sense though because you just said that in the possible future, five to seven years, you may want another kid. So what you're saying is you want to go under the knife and get the snip snip and then you want to come to me five years later and be like, oh yeah, I actually do want a kid. Like, no, how is that going to work? Okay, but look at from my side though, I would, I would leave that possibility open if we had a way of preventing another kid right now so, but since you can't do birth control we both don't want to do condoms otherwise there's no point being in a relationship um anyway so what's your option third, your third, third option, option what is it is to pull out that's not gonna stop kids it may it can it, yeah it can it's worked in the past but long term it, the risk is too high no, there's no. And risk. you don't want to get abortion. The main risk is not doing it at all. That's the risk. That's when these ones pop out. What do you guys want? Can you guys change Kelly Bum Bum? Let's change you. Don't get it wrong. Like, we make amazing kids. We make perfect kids. I'm open to options of leaving that possibility. <laughs> but you're not giving me any options to choose. When I was on birth control, you didn't get to choose. I just. So are you Whatever. willing to go on birth control? Yeah. See? Not really. See? And yeah. So then But you don't I... understand what it's like though. Like there's side effects, like But that's why I my hormones will be effect. up and down, I'll be all messed up down there. Like it's 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 serious, it affects it's you. It's challenging. So listen though. So you took a sacrifice okay. when you were on birth control, right? Oh, do you want to talk about sacrifices? No, it's a yes or no question. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I can yeah. talk about a lot of So sacrifices. I'm willing to take a sacrifice. Yeah, I'll but you're talking knife. about a permanent sacrifice. My sacrifices were like, okay, I can do this or I can stop. Yeah, but they With don't that, make options for men. That's not my fault. Okay. Well, you have an option that you don't want to use. Pulling out is not going to prevent a kid long term. 
seems to work for a lot of people, including us. We need to like drop some knowledge on you, like. But I don't get it though. Like the last how many months? How long ago did I stop using the patch? At least three months now. I would say about three months or four months. And have there been any issues? If yes or no. Yes or no. <laughs> yes or no. For short periods of time, it may work, but long term, like years on end, eventually hey. it will happen. If you sign a waiver saying that that's one listen, quarter of on. a year that we're in the clear zone. All right. So it proves that it works. You just nah, short term. If we go with that option, no birth control, just pulling out. If down the line, let's say a year or two from now, you do get pregnant, are you willing to sign a waiver that you're gonna get an abortion? No. Are you sick? <laughs> <laughs> sign a waiver. What is this, like side chicks territory? <laughs> Hell no. Sign a waiver? You'll like, did be... I just meet you last night, bro? You'll never be a side chick. And no, I'm joking. I would never force a girl to have an abortion. But I don't want to put you in that situation. You know what I mean? I don't want to be not wanting a kid that's there and feeling away and then putting you through that and we're not in a good space. You know what I mean? I don't want to create But conflict. why would that make it an issue? Because we're I'm not just... trying to, so if it happens, then that kind See, of means something. That's what scares me. What scares? How? Why would that scare you? Because one day it might, it probably will happen. Track, you're just looking at it in a negative space, and I don't really know why, but I think if I'm it not being negative. if it did sort of, but if it did happen, I wouldn't count it as a setback. I would count it as a blessing. So it, of course it would be a blessing. A life is always a blessing. I'm just saying that. My opinion, it's not being negative, my, my, per, my preference right now is to focus on building our life. Of course. And we have two beautiful kids. That's we both have what we're saying. We're not, we're not like actively trying to have a kid right now. But That's... we wouldn't be actively preventing it either. Yeah, we are preventing it. The preventative space is that you don't get caught up in the moment and you stop when you need to stop. Yeah, okay, a few months maybe, but you think after a couple of years I'm not going to slip up at least once? That's not an option. It is an option. What the hell? You're using that option right now. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna pull up something on my phone. Let's pull up an article right now. Does pulling out prevent pregnancy? Here we go. That's the first, as soon as I type that in, that's the first result. While withdrawal has been criticized as a non-method, it is 73% effective for birth control. <laughs> Yeah, but listen. Thank you, Google. Seventy-three percent. You depending man. depending on the male partner's self knowledge and self control. Self control. Seventy-three percent. It's all in the mind, babe. It's all in seventy-three percent. The mind. So that leaves seventy. You're 20, choosing the lowest percent, though. That's twenty-seven percent. You're choosing the lowest baby. percent. Seventy-three Over five to ninety-six percent. From trial and error, it's been ninety-six percent for us. So. 20, that leaves Based 27% over a five year period. You're telling me 23% or 27% won't happen in five years? I don't know, this is the dilemma. We, every time we have this conversation, this is where we get to. So the question still remains, are we gonna have more kids? You love me. Of course I love you, it's not okay. a question of love. So? Not a question of love. Don't make it. A, Sometimes don't I want to beat a, you up. But don't make it a hard thing. It doesn't have to be so stressful on the heart. I know. I know the guys Use out there watching. They feel me. Mm -mm, oh man. Give me a kiss. You give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. For stressing me out. Give me a kiss. Don't touch my face. Now you give me one. cute today. I should go somewhere. You ain't going nowhere without me. Nowhere. You understand? It's cuffing season. This hoes keep calling, I ain't picking up. Yeah. This hoes keep calling, I ain't picking up. Yeah. Told these hoes I be- okay. Anyways. You know it's cuffing season, right? Everyone gets okay, curved daddy. anyways, but- Kali! See? Why wouldn't we want to add one more kid, like, right here? What? You want a baby brother? Want a baby brother? Yeah? What's his name gonna be? If we had a Michael kid, Jordan! Michael. <laughs> <laughs> you want a baby That's brother? A sick name. I like that. Yeah.
Uh huh. If we did have another kid, it would definitely be a boy. That's what I think too. Anyways, hope y'all have a good Sunday. It's gonna be Sunday when y'all watching this. What else? Signing out. I don't know what to say.